All right, relax. This is how you make your beloved salmon gravel eggs, okay? Before we start, do yourself a favor and clean film your work surface. To make our locks, we need a side of salmon. Start by making the cure. We need citrus in the form of lemon, lime and either or orange or mandarin. Some brown sugar and of course sea salt. Mix the sugar with the salt. Zest all the zesty citrus, making sure not to cut too deep like Shrek. We don't want pith and we don't want juice. Those you will use for something else. Hopefully something nice like marmalade. If not, just squeeze the juice and freeze it for later usage. Add the zest to the salt and sugar, followed by some freshly cracked black pepper. At this point you could also add some grated beetroot. A double shot of alcohol, like gin or smoky whiskey. Or if you really want to waste your time, vodka. I prefer to keep it classy San Diego. Set that stuff aside for now. Here comes the very messy, optional but extremely necessary part of removing the scales. Scrape them off with a knife or if you're scared, like I'm scared of the monster under my bed, then ask your fishmonger to do it for you. Just don't ask mine because, well, yeah, it's obvious, no? There's a reason we remove the scales and keep the skin on. It cures better and it slices much better. The non-flying fish scaling method is doing this with a fish submerged underwater, dead and filleted of course. But I doubt you have a big ass sink at home and your wife will not appreciate you doing it in the bathtub. Plus she will probably ban you from watching my videos. Bad for both of us. Hence the plastic. See? Nice and clean. Well, ish. Wipe the fish clean with a paper towel and move it onto a chopping board. Or another clean piece of plastic. Especially if you picked with your eyes only. The time has come to trim this thing up and remove all the pieces we don't need. But don't be wasteful, keep the trim to make a fish soup or diplomatically become a bachelor by fermenting it into a fish sauce. Both highly recommended. Remove all the white bits of connective tissue, followed by the ribs and belly. I personally cure the fatty belly separately. My fatty belly like it a lot. Trim, trim, trim until you have a clean looking side of salmon. Remove the bones with your wife's tweezers or your own man pliers. Neither recommended, so I leave a link to proper fish pliers down below. Next, plastic again because I doubt you have a fridge or tray big enough to fit a whole side of salmon onto. Sprinkle the cure mixture onto the plastic, then layer down in a bed of salt and sugar, followed by some more of that goodness. Make sure to get more cure on the thick parts. The tail needs less as it's thinner and can become over salty. I cut it off most of the time and use it for some other preparations while still raw, avoiding the whole over salty issue and giving me the opportunity to create something else tasty. Wrap it up extremely well making sure there are no holes. It will release fish juice, so for your own safety just make sure it's wrapped well. Label it and cure it for 24 hours. The next day remove it from the cure. Save the juice and keep it in the freezer. It's amazing brushed onto barbecued fish or as a seasoning for crisp cucumber salad. Wash the fish under cold running water. Then pat it dry with a paper towel. Taste it by slicing a few slices from the tail. The tail normally goes to the chef anyway, so have a few slices. Make sure to cut it at an angle towards the tail and twisting the knife as soon as it touches the skin. That's how you slice it like a big boy. Before we store it, this is how you're gonna eat it. Generously buttered and cream cheese Baradinsky bread. Plenty of gravel -like slices, red onion, capers, dill and pepper. Nice but not done yet, of course, soft boiled quail eggs. Video links for all of these on screen and down below. To store it, wrap the skin over the flesh. Place it into plastic wrap again. Obviously not scoring many green points here. Sorry, I know it's bad. Make sure it's completely covered. You can also cut it into smaller pieces and vac pack it. Label and store it in the fridge for up to 5 days or freeze for many months. Be nice, and hopefully we'll see each other next time. Bye-bye.